What's up? It's Christmas Stone Fox Media. And what is this? What is this? Now, I had to speak on this because a couple of hours ago, Dual Pixels released an exclusive that Nintendo NX controller has been leaked. Now, of course, this comes from some source that no one knows if it even exists. Uh, it's also from Reddit that this is what the controller is supposed to look like. What is this? No, seriously, what is this? Because on it, you see this oval looking rearview mirror controller that is, of course, based on that pattern link that came out a couple of months ago. And you see a little sticky tab over there that says, You will say wow. Well, we are not saying wow, we are saying, What is this? I hope that this is fake because, of course, all signs are pointing that this thing is fake. It, I don't believe that Nintendo is stupid enough to come out with a controller that looks like this. This oval rearview mirror thing is popping up all over the place. It only has buttons. It looks like the buttons may pop out or not. And all you can really see is a B button on this thing. It looks somewhat legit, but it doesn't look legit. Only because you can see that the picture looks crazy distorted. I'm not buying it, okay? No, seriously, I'm not buying that this is their real controller. Could it be some kind of concept? I don't know. Uh, the only good thing that can come out of this supposed leak is that maybe it can open up the doors to Nintendo actually saying something about the NX because this has got people freaked out. People are scared of this thing because if this shows the direction that they're going to go, it's going to be very bad because nobody wants to play with this little goofy looking thing. It is goofy. It is stupid. It is hideous. I don't like it. Please let this not be true. Nintendo can't be stupid enough. Unfortunately, Nintendo is stupid enough to actually come out with this thing and say, Hey, everybody, look at our rearview mirror controller brought to you by OnStar. Just saying. I'm just saying. Now, moving on from that, and this is, of course, touching up on the news that I talked about yesterday regarding the PlayStation VR price. And, of course, we all know that the price is really not $399. Now, we get to see a little bit more what the real price is going to be. Because Sony has decided that they are going to start the pre-orders for this PlayStation VR on Tuesday. And you can see what they give you in this whole entire pack. You're going to get the VR headset, the PlayStation VR cables, stereo headphones, VR demo disc, PlayStation camera, two PlayStation Move controllers, PlayStation VR words. And it all comes to a low, 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 low price of about $499. That's not if you live in Canada, because if you do live in Canada, you're going to be paying somewhere around $699. I told you people, this this is the real price of this thing if you want to actually get one. That's not including the places you're bored, but it gets better. Now, I warned you guys of this. I warned you guys of this right here. I actually already have the PlayStation camera. I have the little dongle snow cone looking thing. I have all that stuff already. So I don't actually need this particular thing. I only need the actual headset. Now, here's a catch. Because it always has to be a catch. Okay, so they're going to start the pre-orders on Tuesday to get this whole entire bundle. You cannot, however, get the headset by itself as it is not currently available for pre-order. So riddle me this, how could you come up with some type of box set that includes the camera, the little motion controllers, a game, the actual headset, you can come up with this whole entire bundle, but somehow the basic $399 unit is eluding you. So you just take that out of the box and you put it in another box by itself, but, but see they can't fathom how to do that at this time. I think, and me just personally, that this is some kind of marketing strategy where they're going to know everyone wants to pre-order it. So they're going to give you the most expensive bundle first. That's the one that everyone's going to get first. So that's going to sell out because people are like, I already own it, but I'm going to buy it anyway because I really, really want it. Then they're going to say, hey guys, uh, we're going to do the headset sometime later on, probably after E3. It's probably when they're going to do it. That pisses me off. It pisses me off to know that you advertise this thing as $399. The price is not what the real price is. And then when you finally do release a bundle, you say, oh, yeah, by the way, that single headset, yeah, we forgot all about that. We don't know when we're going to do it. It's just it's too complicated, but this whole bundle isn't. Riddle me this.
This is really putting a salty taste in my mouth when it comes to this whole entire PlayStation VR thing. I really want it. I want to try it out. But if it's going to be playing games with people, then I'm going to have to rethink the strategy. I'm going to have to rethink it, everybody. But I wanted you guys to be informed that uh, if you want to go buy this box set, which I'm not going to pre-order, even though I like to pre-order stuff, I'm not going to pre-order this one because I know what they're doing here. And I want to let you guys know about it. So that's all the news I got for you guys right now. Like, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, so you know as soon as my news becomes available. Thank you guys for watching, and I will holla at y'all later. Thank you guys for watching my whole entire episode. I really do appreciate it. Hit that like and subscribe button, and after that, go to my Stone Fox Media store. Get cool things like shirts, iPhone cases, you name it. Uh, you got mugs. There's nothing in the mug.